Hi you guys, welcome back to the channel. So it is um, the weekend. I am about to head out because I wanted to wake up early enough to go try Taco Bell breakfast because I haven't had Taco Bell breakfast probably ever or ever since it first came out. So I just quickly washed my face, combed my hair and put on my favorite sweatshirt because this is my uniform. Um, also, look at this, look at this trash. Why did it snow? Why? I don't understand who asked for this and why it happened. Forgot to grab my watch, but it's 1022. They stopped serving breakfast at 11, so I'm probably cutting it really close, but let's go ahead and get to getting. We are pulling up to Taco Bell. Why is the icy machine here? I already know exactly what I'm gonna get. Do they not have breakfast at this location? I thought they did. Hi, how are you? Hi. Um, you guys are still doing breakfast, right? Yes. Okay. Don't. Isn't there like a box that has like? Yes, it's new. Okay. Can I get that? And then for the drink, can I get that? What kind of burrito would you like? Um. Bacon, oh. sausage, or steak. Bacon, sausage, sausage. What would you like to drink? Um. Can I get that Cinnabon coffee? Iced. Okay. Would that be all for you? Um. Yes. Okay, you can pull around up to $5. All right, thank you. Okay, all right. I'm feeling really weird about this food, you guys. Only because this is an iced coffee. I don't even hear any ice. This is not an iced coffee. There's literally no ice in it. and it tastes awful. There's no ice, no creamer. I mean, there's probably a little bit of creamer in there because it's not completely dark. I can't like toss it over, so, but you guys can see it a little bit, but yeah, this is not iced. Also, and it's, a, it's in a hot cup, so yeah, no. That's a fail. It's not iced. I should go back. Should I go back and be like, hey, this coffee's not ice. There's no ice in it. You know what? I don't even care that much. It's too early. It's 1037. It's definitely too early. She needed to be giving me a straw at first because it's not an iced coffee. Nobody drinks iced coffee without a straw. So it's like, I'm like, is this iced? She's like, yes. Hands me a cup with no ice. Let's see if we like everything else. So, I'll show you what's all in the box. So you get two Cinnabon Delights, a hash brown. Pretty cold. All right, the breakfast burrito feels warm. I believe it's sausage, egg, cheese. I kind of want to rip it in half and just eat the center, but. Big chunk of just tortilla. That is really hot. Is there no sauce or anything on this? It's just sausage, egg, cheese, tomato, potato. No. And the potatoes? Like, the food is hot. Damn, and Wendy stops serving breakfast at 10. Well, this one does. Dang. This is not good. The Cinnabon, Cinnabon Delight should be good, though. Mm-hmm. Oh, the icing in the middle tasted funny. 
you know what I don't think the Taco Bell breakfast is all that good let me taste the yellow one they taste old in the middle this one's good that coffee tastes nothing like this what the hell I got burrito guts all on my shirt well that was a disappointment and a waste of five dollars well I don't know what else to do with myself so I guess now since I'm out I'm just gonna go grocery shopping I have a couple things that I need to get like I need sugar because all of my sugar is rock solid and I need eggs um I think that's all I needed. I don't remember. My list is very short. I think I wanted some strawberries and some tomatoes, but sorry, the camera's probably like going crazy right now. Uh, I feel so weird today. Like, like I don't feel like talking that kind of mood. Like I just want to, I want to go lay in bed and stay in bed quietly all day type of mood is how I'm kind of feeling but I'm trying to work through it and just be out and about and get stuff done because I feel very, very unproductive today, but I'm gonna make myself be productive. Even though laying in a ditch right now would probably be more aligned with how I, how I feel, you know? That food was awful, I'm pissed. <laughs> That was not a good start to my day. What the hell was that? So I will never eat Taco Bell breakfast again. I was really excited about that coffee, but please, Taco Bell breakfast, go to hell. So now we're going to Kroger's. Is Chick-fil-A still? I don't even want breakfast. I just want an iced coffee. I can make an iced coffee at home. Ugh, never mind. I'm not getting a coffee if I'm outdoors. I'm going to wait till I go home and get a coffee, even though... Chick-fil-A coffee is pretty good. But what is this behind me? Oh, it felt like it was a big truck behind me, but there literally was nothing behind me. That was weird. Usually I would back into a parking spot, but today we're pulling into a spot because who has the time? Who? Let me see what was on my list. Uh, brown sugar, banana, and eggs, and white sugar. I still need those kitchen towels and a kitchen rug for the kitchen, but ask me if I feel like going to TJ Maxx. Leaving the grocery store, and I was on my way home, but then I was like, what if... You just go get those kitchen towels and see if you can get a rug. I don't even want a rug, honestly. I hate kitchen rugs. I like regular rugs, like fabric ones. Those are cool. But the kitchen rug would basically be one of those, like, I don't know. Is someone just laying on the horn? Like a sticky, I don't know how to describe it, but I don't like those kind of rugs. Like if anything, I don't be standing up at the sink that long anyway. I throw dishes in the dishwasher or I put food, in, I, I, you know. I don't be standing up at the sink. I don't really need a rug there. And I feel like the space is so small that why even fill it up with a rug anyway? No. So let's go see if we can find some cute kitchen towels. I'm driving around with my groceries. I have eggs and frozen jalapeno poppers. But if I turn the heat down in the car, maybe it'll be okay. Because now I want to go run over to um, Marshall's TJ Maxx Home Goods situation and get those. I want to dye my hair. Like I'm gonna dye my hair this weekend, you guys. Or am I? I'm I'm probably gonna bleach it. I'm not, I don't think I want to color on it. I think I just want like a blonde patch for a little bit. I think. And I started just to do like a middle part so I could have like a piece here and a piece here. But then I'm like, well, maybe if I just do a nice half and half, like a nice just blonde chunk. So I don't know what I want to do. I need to go to Whole Foods and do like an Amazon return, but I don't feel like it, man. I don't feel like it. 
But I guess if I do, that means I can go to the Home Goods right next to the Whole Foods. So let's do that instead of going a little further out and going to the Whole the what Home Goods by the mall. Let's just well, yeah, both spots have usual trash parking, so I guess it really doesn't matter. Also, I'm tired. Like I want to go back home and lay down, take like a nap. I don't think I'm used to being up this early on the weekend. Especially since I didn't go to sleep until like 2 o'clock and then I woke up at like 7 by accident and was like, oh hell nah. And so I went back to sleep and then I woke up at 9 and then I didn't get out of bed until like 10 o'clock because I wanted to rush and get that nasty Taco Bell breakfast. What is my life? I'm going to go home and make myself a good drink, like a chai latte and then lay in bed or something. But a part of me is like, maybe you should get on the stream. Like, you're going to play Animal Crossing anyway. Why not play Animal Crossing on stream? And I'm just like, I don't know. My eyes are already tired. Like, I'm already sleepy. It's not even 12 o'clock, and I'm already ready to call it a day. The towel wants to be thrown in. Who's having a blowout sale? King's Furniture? I don't know where that is. Okay, we just got to make this quick return. And then we're gonna leave. Quick return. We go to Whole Home Good. Day. Why are all these names? Whole Foods Home Goods. We do one, and then we can hurry to get to the other. And then we can go home. Oh, I watched Turning Red yesterday. That is such a cute movie. Like I really liked it. It was funny, and it was just cute. So, I don't know. I don't know if I'll watch it again, but it was very adorable. Is there anything else I would need from Whole Foods other than dropping off this return? I feel like that would be it. I don't really have anything else I need to do over here in this part of the lot. Oh, you know what? I do. Oh, crap. I meant to go into GameStop because I have a GameStop gift card and you know every month they give you the $5 reward. So I meant to go in there and redeem that, but I'll see if I can redeem it online and I can get me a new game. I think I wanna, I don't know what I wanna get. I have to look at my wish list and see what games I have on there, but I'm gonna get me a game. I was kind of thinking that Brain, what is it called, Brain Age Academy? I was kind of thinking about that, but I don't know. Maybe I'll sit on it sit on the money until I I don't know until something else comes out that I want like a $60 game I'm like ooh sometimes I hate buying those like expensive games but if I have a gift card and some money already on my Nintendo account then I'll be like no it's not, not so bad it's almost free did they expand the Carhartt store or is this something else oh my god these are the slowest people ever they're like backing up their car and they're backing up in absolute slow motion. Like what? Girl, y'all play too much. I'm over here trying to park. All right, really quick. We're gonna run in there, make this return and then leave. I'm not gonna get distracted and be over there in the bakery section picking up baked goods. This is not what we're here for. So I went inside, I made my return, and then I got in the car, and then I got to thinking, what if you went back in Whole Foods and got some good bread? Like, could you imagine if you ate some good bread with your dinner tonight? You just toast up some good bread with some butter? I think we're going inside for some good bread. We're getting the good bread and then we're going home, which is annoying because I could have got some good bread from Kroger's because they have a little bakery in there, but it's fine. Let's get some good bread from Whole Foods. Preferably something like, mm, I don't know. Let's see what kind of bread they have. I already have some good butter at home. Mm, bread and butter. I didn't have any good bread. Like I literally got dragon fruit and watermelon because I was like, oh, that looks good. Has nothing to do with bread. Wasn't even near the bread, but I was just like, ooh. He literally rang me up for dragon fruit twice. Bro, what is your problem? 
I was wondering why it was so expensive for two things because this was only $5.75 and this one was $2.54 but he rang me up for the dragon fruit twice. <sighs> Whatever. Like I don't feel like going back in there. That'll be the third time I've walked in there. I don't... It's not worth it. I'm, a, I'm a still a little annoyed, but it's not worth it. I'm actually not even annoyed. I'm just like, ugh. Eye roll. That kind of thing. Whole Foods doesn't need my $5.75, but they got it this time. I still want bread, because now I got my mind all ready for bread. So now I feel like I should go to... Ugh, like this is not the plan, this is not the plan. But now I feel like I need to go back to a Kroger's because I know Kroger's sells Cheesecake Factory bread. So now I feel like I need to go to Kroger's to get some Cheesecake Factory bread. And I swear I'm gonna eat the bread. Like, I guess I could just toast some uh, sliced bread that I already have at home, but that's just not the same. It's not the same vibe, you know? Why don't we have any ba like bread bakeries over here? We only have like bakery bakeries for like sweets, but they are, they don't have any like savory breads. It's all like sweet stuff. And that's not really what I want right now. I was gonna say, is Bath and Body Works closed? But it's probably just cold so they close the door instead of having it wide open like they usually do. Oh, it's 12 o'clock now. So I'm gonna go into home goods, grab kitchen towels, and then, dang, and I guess, I don't want to, but I, I think I'm gonna have to go to Kroger's, go back to Kroger's, and get some bread. Should I just go back to the Kroger's near me, or should I go to the Kroger's out here? If I go to the Kroger's near me, that means I can get home a little quicker. But if I go to the one out here, I can go straight home. Crap, I just missed my spot to get go to Whole Foods. Home goods, Jesus. All right, so now I gotta go around the block. Forget it, we're outside. Let's go to Home Goods, get these towels, and then pop over to Kroger's to, um, Are these signs all new? Like, I thought they used to let you turn on red if you're in the curb lane, but not anymore? I wonder what happened. People are probably getting too crazy and causing accidents or something. They said, you know what? Y'all don't get to turn on red on the curb lane no more. Y'all need to sit where you at and wait for the green light because you're getting crazy. That's probably what happened. Towels and that's it. I'm running in, get these towels, and then going to Kroger's and then I'm going home. I, have, I don't need anything else. I don't want to be out here anymore. 23 degrees. There's a dusting of snow on the ground and I don't like it. Hopefully I don't see anything else I like on the way to grab those towels because you know I'm gonna have to walk by the kitchen aisle to see what the hell they got going on over there. I can't just not do it. Gotta do it. Good thing is I know I don't need anything else so it's not like I'm gonna go in there and then my hair is dirty it's not even so much dirty it's like it's cold outside so I just oh is this a parking spot right up here in the front don't mind if I do um yeah it's just cold outside so I just get dry scalp and dandruff so quickly in the winter so it makes me have to dry my wash my hair way more often and because of all the cold wind it just dries my hair out so bad so quickly winter time hair is like i don't know it stays straight but it's dry so it's, it gets dry so quickly um towels and then we're leaving we'll see what i walk out of there with but towels that's the vibe we didn't get any towels because all the towels were like, not the vibe. Like I want some cute pastel towels, 
like I don't know I just want a cute soft purple or a cute soft pink that doesn't have Easter rabbits on it like all the cute pastel stuff had rabbits chickens hip-hop like just Easter themed things and I'm just like Ugh no thank you so i think what i'm gonna end up doing is like i don't want to go into target so i'm not going to but i might just get on amazon and see if they have some cute towels um do you guys get scared when you see a trash bag on the side of the road anytime i see a trash bag on the side of the road i'm just like oh that's a body for sure like every single time and it just makes me wonder like if it is a body people drive by it all the day like all the time so how long would it take for someone to notice or stop to check to see if it is a body. Like, when somebody comes to clean, what if it's out there and then it snows and then all the snow sits on top of it and all the evidence washes away? But I guess if it's inside of a bag, the evidence won't be, won't be able to wash away because it's like, you know, in the bag. But what if you take the body out of the bag and then it snows and then it snows all on the body, the evidence is gonna wash away with when the rain, when the, like, the snow melts. I always wonder about stuff like that. But yeah, I'm back over here where my Kroger's is. Still driving around with my uh, frozen jalapeno bites and eggs. But I need bread. And then I'm going to go right home. It's 1230. We're getting bread and then we're going home. Well, it's 25 degrees. They gave us two more degrees and we appreciate it. Bread and that's it. We're grab grabbing some bread. And then we're leaving. I didn't even go to the bakery section when I was uh, when I came here the first time. I still really want an iced coffee. This lady is so sweet. Like, she's standing on the curb with a sign, but she's not asking for money. She's like sending waves or something. She's like, she wants you to wave at her. It's like a wave and a smile kind of thing. Like, it's so sweet. And she's been out here like almost every week. Every time I come to the store, she's out here with like waving. I love her so much. She's so sweet. She's just like spreading a little happiness. Like it, it could make you cry. Like I feel myself going, ma'am, you're too pure for this world. Ugh. All right, I'm going to back into this spot and then let's grab this bread. Ooh, should I park on the other side? Let's park on the other side that's closer to the bakery. That way I can like run in and then use the other. No, actually, that other checkout be packed. Like, I don't understand why. There's two self-checkout areas in this Kroger's, but the one that's on the other side of the store is always packed. It don't, it don't matter what time of day it is, it's packed. Versus the one that's on this side where I like to come in at is never empty. Like, it's never like a lot of people it's like nobody likes to come to that side and i don't understand why because it's the same amount of checkouts it's the same stuff but people don't like it and i appreciate that about them because i don't want to be standing in line hanging out with a bunch of weirdos so bread and be right back we got the bread it's 12 39 let's go home we are officially done with outside my aunt called and so I'm not going over there today, but I think on Monday we're going to hang out. Oh, I put the car in drive. Whoops. Um, she was talking about this restaurant called Taco Time, and she's like, you got to come over so we'd eat Taco Time together. So there I go. I'll be hanging out with my aunt on Monday, and we're going to record and do a Taco Time video. I don't know if Taylor's going to be there because I think Taylor. Usually she does one week with her mom, one week with her dad. So I don't know if Taylor's coming back on tomorrow. Usually they switch off on Sunday. So I don't know. And I swear Taylor was just there when I called the other day. So I don't know. Taylor does what she wants. <laughs> Ready to go home. I feel like I should go get my hair dye stuff while I'm here. Or while I'm out, but I feel like I should go home, do my research, and then tomorrow wake up and go get this hair dye stuff. And today I'm just gonna go in the house, chill for a little bit, and then work on the kitchen. I believe that's what we're doing today. I'll see you guys back at the house. I'm starting to feel a little bit more like, ooh, 
upbeat, but I'm still like, I want to lay down and take a nap for a second. Dining room floor sitting so I can show you guys my groceries and what I bought on Amazon yesterday that showed up same day. <sighs> I don't know what's in what container, so we're just gonna open it. Oh, I bought a shower head. Let me open this. I bought a shower head because I wanted a better shower head. And I'm hoping it's like, I mean, it says easy to install. So I'm hoping when they say easy to install, they mean easy to install in my shower. So it is like a big shower head with the little hand piece so I can like wash my hair easier. So love this. And hopefully that is super easy to install because my current shower head is so basic, but I'm saving this. Well, I'll probably install it and then show the footage whenever I do the bathroom makeover video. Put the instructions back in there. Put that to the side. And what is this? Oh, I bought containers for like lettuce and like produce for inside of the fridge, for a little fridge organization. So it's like the big one would be for lettuce and then the two little ones I could do strawberries and cherries or tomatoes, grapes, you know, that kind of thing. So there we go. These back in the plastic so they don't get scuffed up because I'm not ready to use them. I'll open them up and organize everything when I do my kitchen. Um, when I go in there and do finish up the kitchen for the makeover situation. Because I know I said I wanted to do it today, but I want to go do my nails first. And then maybe later on tonight, I'll end up doing something. But I think it'll be probably a different vlog because I'm chilling today. And we're probably going to cook a little something. This right here. What is this? Oh, I bought a tripod because the one I'm using right now, it's like this little tiny one. And then the big one I have is just like too flimsy feeling in my opinion. So this one came with a bag. It was only 20 something dollars. So I have my ring light and now I have a separate tripod. Cute, very nice. I love it so much. You can tighten it that way and then you can extend the legs. Lock that back up, but there we go. And then it comes with, I guess if you're gonna put your phone on it, it has a little remote and a phone stand. Yay. Show the groceries that um, are probably way past due needing to be in the fridge slash freezer. No rush though. We got the watermelon dragon fruit. I've never had dragon fruit before. We got these eggs, even though I said I'm scared of brown eggs now, but you know, we got some more eggs. Strawberries, these were the least offensive looking strawberries that I saw, so I went ahead and got them. And then we got three bananas in various shades of green. And we got two peeps. They were chocolate covered, so I'm like, why not? I should have ended up getting the Peep Delights because the Peep Delights I feel like were cheaper. Instead of getting, I would have got four or six Peeps versus I paid like almost $3 for two Peeps. Scam. They get you by not putting the price next to anything. And I got these stuffed jalapeno peppers. 
just quick air fryer stuff. I should have got another bag of fries, but I was like, well, let me go ahead and completely finish my bag of fries and my sweet potatoes before I go buy another bag. Uh, we got some granulated sugar because uh, the sugar in the current container is hard like a rock. So I need to go ahead and, I don't know, was it excavate? I don't know, I need to de-rock the sugar that's already in there. We got um, some regular oatmeal because I didn't like those steel cut oats. Like, I didn't like that. So I got some regular oatmeal. And because I wasted the first set of oatmeal, I got the dollar cheap oatmeal. Uh, we got some brown sugar because also my brown sugar is old and hard. And then we got some more cherry tomatoes. I wanted to smell them because they were in the same bag with a candle and I didn't want them to smell like candle. And from Kroger's, I got the last bag of the Cheesecake Factory brown bread that was in loaves. All the, other, the only other kind they had was the two long sticks of it. And I'm like, no, give me the personal ones. And then I got a candle. Sugar, oh, it's lemon sugar cookie. Smells so good. This is going in the guest bathroom as soon as you walk in because I want that bathroom to be like lemon scented and you know vanilla is my thing. So compromise. There we go. Um, let's go ahead and put this away and then I think I'm gonna go do my nails. We should probably eat something, huh? Let's put this stuff away and then eat something and then we'll do my nails. The way I don't feel like picking anything of this stuff off the floor. I don't feel like it. Oh, oh yeah. Um, where is that? So that Chipotle hot sauce that I bought, I knew I had one at the old place and then I couldn't find it for the longest. And I'm like, I know I had a brand new hot sauce at the old place. I had used it right before I moved, couldn't find it. So I was in my room going through my shoes and I found the hot sauce in the container with my shoes. So now I have two bottles of hot sauce. Hate. I don't feel like putting this stuff away, but I'm gonna do it. Like, I don't feel like it, but I don't feel like I have a choice. I hate not having choices. Ugh. What should we eat? I don't feel like cooking anything right now. I feel like I should just eat watermelon and dragon fruit with a fork and drink a chai latte. I feel like that's the plan here. While I was at Kroger's, oh, I hate when I do this. While I was at Kroger's, I should have got another little thing of chai latte, but it's okay. So this is how I like to make my chai lattes now. Squirt a little bit of vanilla in here. Grab two pieces of ice because this ice is humongous and I'm about to get a hammer and just break up all the ice. Yeah, like I only have so much of this left, so I need to get another one. I guess while I'm out, yes, tomorrow. I think tomorrow I'm leaving the house, but pour a little bit of chai latte in there. I have enough for like two more days maybe in this container. I should get one more, like just cause. I also feel like I need milk. So maybe I should go to Target tomorrow and then pour your milk in there. Normally I would go for a glass straw, but since I'm staying here, let's go and use this one. Mm, perfect. Spicy.
All right, so I got all my stuff together. I got my iPad, my nail stuff. So this is probably where I'm gonna be sitting for at least uh, two to three hours. I should grab my switch, but I don't need it while I'm doing my nails. Let's try this dragon fruit. I'm expecting it to have the texture of like a kiwi, but I've never had dragon fruit before. I hope the seeds in it aren't too crazy. Like it looks good. It's weird that it tastes like a melon. Like that's really strange. I was expecting something a little bit more like now kiwis are like more acidic, like tangy or something. I was expecting more of that, but this tastes like, like a honeydew or something. Like it's almost tangy. I don't, I'm like, it's almost savory. I don't like it. Sorry, I paid double for it. Watermelon is delicious though. I might have to go back and get some more watermelon. This is crazy. Mmm. Mmm. I love chai latte. This is ridiculous. You don't have to be this delicious, okay? Dang, chill. Like, wow. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> this is great. Um, I feel like now I need more watermelon and I need more chai latte. So I'm gonna make myself a little list of things I need to get tomorrow when I leave the house because I'm not leaving the house today. It's over. It's in the house game for the rest of the day. I guess I gotta start on my nails. Let's actually put you guys on the new tripod and then I'll do my nails. So it's 3.31, I'm still doing my nails, but I really want Chipotle. Even though I've had Chipotle like quite a few times in the past month or so, might even be two months. But I love those salad bowls, like I love it. Like I kinda wanna go and get me another salad bowl. And I know they have a new chicken, but I really liked it with barbacoa and I get guac you know, little nacho cheese on the side for my chips. And I originally wanted to go in there and cook and make me a salad, but, but, I'm really hungry now. And I feel like if I had some Chipotle, I would be really happy. And I just feel like I should be happy. And Chipotle's like really close. I finished one hand. And I feel like it looks really cute with the little flowers on it. Using this little thing is so annoying. Like it's so annoying. Like it doesn't always work. You have to like do some weird finessing. Like it works when you press it sometimes. Like it's just very strange. Um, it's like I should commit and go ahead and use it to finish up the style, but it's just very annoying to use in general. Especially when you're alternating colors and different things. Also, I love this tripod. Like, I love it a lot. So much. I like it a lot more than all my other tripods. So I'm happy I got it. I don't know what took so long. I kind of want to put the base coat on all these nails. And then go get Chipotle. Take a break. Eat my food. And then finish up my nails. 
Yeah, I'm gonna put the base coat on these, maybe the base color as well, and then I'll come back and do the designs once I ate. I don't know if I make it that far. I might just make it to putting on the base coat and then getting food. I don't know if I can hold out that long because I haven't eaten any real food yet today and this is unacceptable even though I didn't want to leave out the house again. First layer of base coat is on. <sighs> I'll be back once I get done doing my base coat and then I'm going to order my food and then we're going to go get the food. Back home and the sun is getting crazy. over here to see if that helps at all but we got our chipotle it's 4:47. um this little station thing i'm sitting on i probably shouldn't sit and eat my food here because it's covered in nail glitter but yolo sometimes you ingest a little nail glitter and sometimes you don't barbacoa salad bowl now, I know I should have went in there and tried the new chicken, but I know this barbacoa is good. And I feel like if I was gonna get the new chicken, I would want it like on a taco or like a quesadilla, just, cut, just so I can like really understand its flavor. On a salad bowl, it wouldn't really get its chance to, like a chance to shine, you know? Do you hear me justifying? Sun is crazy. Super ready to eat this bowl. Looks like they loaded me up too. Not so much on the meat. Oh, I see the meat a little bit in the corner, I think. But those might be beans. I feel so healthy getting a salad bowl because I feel like they never put enough lettuce on the top of the bowl. Gotta get extra sour every single time. Does anyone ever get queso in the bowl? I feel like it's more of a side item. I've never seen anybody be like, yeah, throw some queso in that bowl for me, please. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Everything is so limey and delicious. Guac is good. Didn't I just have Chipotle yesterday? No, I think that was Thursday, right? Well, they should bottle that queso because I will buy it. I cannot find a good store bought queso. That's as good as the Chipotle one. I post the recipe, I'll make it myself, I guess. Does anybody here work at Chipotle? If so, does the cheese come in a bag or are you guys back there making it? Why do the beans taste so vinegary? That's weird. I've never had the pinto beans taste like vinegar before. Do you guys put vinegar in the beans? Mm, this battery is flashing. I'm gonna go ahead and eat. You can probably watch YouTube. I don't know where my iPad is. Oh, it's up there. Okay. I'm gonna eat and I'll be back. The sun is crazy. <sighs> it's 5.48. I just ate and my feet are cold, so I'm actually gonna get a blanket and lay on this couch and play Animal Crossing for like two hours or something. Like the sun is getting wild, man. I'm actually watching Peacemaker on uh, 
HBO because I never watched it before. It looks like I only watched one episode and then I never came back. So now I'm on episode three. I don't know how that happened, but I'm on episode three already. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and keep watching that and work on my island some more. And I guess when I get up, we'll see what I get into. Gotta let my food digest. It is officially 10.55. I've played Animal Crossing until my Switch died. So however long a full battery of Switch will last, I played all the way until it told me, hey, we're about to go into sleep mode. So I got two low batteries and a, hey, we're about to go to bed alert. So I played it until it was pretty much dead. Um, I guess now it's time to go ahead and go lay down and I'll be back in the morning because I'm gonna make my breakfast and get my day started. And yeah, so see you guys in the morning or whenever I wake up. I don't know when that's gonna be, but I wanna sleep in, so see you tomorrow. Well, next clip for you guys. It's the next day, y'all. <sighs> and I'm probably gonna be wearing the same outfit in like two videos, I think, because this is honestly pretty comfortable. And I plan on filming two videos today, but I wanted to come on and start on this one or finish up on this one, I guess is more like it. And I have a headache right now, very sad. It is 12.24. We're actually getting dressed to go get some food because Burger King has new patty melts. Like I know I was supposed to wake up and do breakfast, but it didn't happen. I was tired and laying around. So now I'm gonna go do it. And then I'm gonna come home and be productive as one does. My watch for whatever reason Everything that I said, it was typing out. Like, I don't know, I think it was doing some voice to text stuff that I didn't ask it to do, but it literally was typing out everything that I said. So, yeah. Why are Vans so hard to get on? Like the high top ones, why are they so difficult to put on? Like, I have a headache, I don't have time for this. I've been sitting here struggling to put on one shoe this whole time. All right, one foot in. I swear, I wanna go run this quick errand and then go home or come, yeah, come back home. I really don't wanna be outside very long today. I just wanna do what I, that hurt something. Just wanna get this food, run to the store, so I can see if I can get those uh, Lucky Charm cookies and let's chai latte and some milk and then come home. Depending on how I feel, I might stop by a different TJ Maxx slash Home Goods to find some towels. But then I was kind of thinking about it and was like, the towels in the kitchen, I don't even use. Like, I usually just do some of this when I wash my hands in there. So I don't know. Maybe I should drink some water. Where's my cup? I have that cup up there, but that water's been in there for like two days. I think I'm gonna drink it anyway. It should be okay. Okay, we got our shoes on finally. Hungry. Got our old water. I was supposed to be going to buy hair dye stuff to dye my hair today, but honestly, you guys, I'm scared. I'm scared to dye my hair because I haven't had dyed hair. Uh, let's see. probably for a birthday 2016 was the last time I had dyed hair. And then that same month, probably a couple weeks later, because I had to take my badge photo for work, I dyed it all back black. And so I haven't had, I've had natural colored hair since 2016. All before that, I've always had colored hair. And now I'm just like, oh no. I'm scared I'm gonna dye it and then it's gonna start breaking off or getting weird. Cause I only wanna dye like a patch, like this much of it. And I just want it to be blonde for now. And then maybe later on I'll start experimenting with colors, but I just want this little bit dyed. Probably like this, this much. I don't know. That way I can have like a little colored piece I can part it in the middle, have a little colored going that way. I could do my side bang, have a side swoop that's colored. I don't know. 
I just been kind of thinking about it and I'm just like, ooh, scared, <laughs> scared. But okay, let's get some food and go run our errands. Also, I am loving this new tripod. Oh, wait a minute, I have packages outside. Hold on, let me grab this. Oh, I forgot this got delivered this morning and I just didn't go out there to go grab it. It was just sitting outside my door, so I wasn't really worried about it. But these things weren't supposed to come until tomorrow and they showed up today, which I appreciate. I bought two things. One is a rechargeable milk frother. I just like the idea if I wanted like a foamy milk, I could do that. So I bought that and this one recharges, like it has batteries, but you can recharge it. I don't like things that don't recharge at all. And then this, I got this cute little pink tiny thermos. Oh, actually I hate the color. Oh, actually the color's not bad. I'm just not in love with it. It's not my favorite shade of pink, but it's cute. But I got this because I'm going to be making myself oatmeal. Ooh, oh my gosh, that noise. Um, I'll be making, get that out of there before I pour milk in there. I was going to be making myself oatmeal and things like that. And I want the milk to stay cold. And I didn't want to get like a huge bottle and have the milk in it just for a little bit of milk. So I figured I could put milk. Uh, when I have salads, I can put little bits of dressing in this thing. It'll keep it cold and I can just put it in my bag and pour for like convenience. But oh my gosh, this shade of pink is not my favorite. It's like, I don't know, something not bright pink about it. Like you see the color pink of my nails? That's a pretty pink. This is kind of like a peachy pink. And it's weird because they advertised it as rose pink. Hmm. I was expecting more of this shade of pink, if not just slightly lighter. Like, that's pretty pink. Also, did I, get, did, I, did I show you guys my nails? Very Easter appropriate. Very spring. All right, let's grab the trash actually and then get out of here. So we're in the parking lot for Burger King. Oh, it's way back there. Oh, I got a little crazy and pulled into the lot a little too soon. I have a super headache. I don't know why I didn't take an ibuprofen before I headed out. Like, do I not want to be happy or something? Okay, Burger King is in sight. I think I want to get... This is a car accident. Like, most definitely is. All right, now how does one get into the drive-thru. I'm assuming I go all the way around here. And I think I want to get the one that has the bacon. They have a patty melt that has bacon. I think that's the one I want to try just because all the other ones would be like, oh, well, you've already had something like that. Wait, where is the freaking line? What are you doing? Car, what are you doing? I hate it when people just drive through the parking lot instead of staying outside of the actual lines because it's like, you're just like shooting right through the park. Isn't that illegal? Like, aren't you supposed to stay like, you're not supposed to drive through the actual parking spots. You're supposed to just go through the line, like through the spots that don't have lines. Like you can't drive through the parking lot like that. Like you can't, you're not allowed to do that. Stop doing it. I'm gonna tell on you. I haven't been to this Burger King in a long time and I was scared to go to the other one that's um, kind of close to me because last time I went there, they made me cry and I was just like, oh, fuck that. What can I get for you? Hi, can I try a Whopper melt? The one with the bacon? A Whopper melt with bacon? Yes. I'll do the meal. So you want the bacon milk? Yes. What's your, uh, you want a meal? Yes. What's your drink? Uh, can I try the Oreo shake? No, our shake machine is down. Okay, do you, do you still have the ices? Are those down too? Yeah, we have ices. Okay, I'll do a Coke one. No, we only got blue. We only got blue. Ew. Um... I guess I'll just get a regular Coke. Okay. Do you guys have 
Do you have sweet tea? No. Okay, a Coke it is. That's all for you? Yeah, that's all. Thanks, I'm too. All right, thank you. <sighs> We're only here for the patty melt anyway. It doesn't really matter. I can get a shake from anywhere else. It's fine. I kind of want to go try that shamrock shake from McDonald's or swing back over to, uh, where was that place? Um, Jack in the Box. I kind of want to go try theirs too. So maybe I'll swing over there and grab that before I go in the house because I would get the one from McDonald's, but from the pictures I've seen, that thing is crazy green and the intense green shade of it all is just really scary to me versus the pictures. I've, I haven't seen anybody with actual pictures of the one from Jack in the Box. And you know, Jack in the Box, they're usually nicer during the day. So maybe before I go home, I'll swing over there. Uh, can you, can you pull up? Are you, okay. Oh, this parking lot is tight or drive through it's tight this Chinese place across the street is called fantastic walk I feel like there's always walk at the end of a lot a few of those like Chinese style restaurants walk <laughs> and it's like now that I know that's a pot it's like fantastic pot it's like cool we have one I think it's called like city walk so it's just like city pan <laughs> I don't know, really large pan. I'm hoping once I eat, that'll really knock off the headache. Uh, all right, it's almost my turn to pay. And honestly, a slushy, I mean, a pop is probably way better to drink with this kind of thing anyway. So in reality, they did me a favor. Thanks, Burger King, for doing me a favor. I'll be like, do you guys have ibu ibuprofen here? <laughs> Can I get some ibuprofen? Mmm. Okay, I'll grab my food and then once I park, I'll be right back because I'm dying right now. Finding a parking spot, we got the food. They handed me two drinks and I'm like, sorry, I only have one. You know, I don't be having all the cup holder space for all that foolishness. Take one of these drinks back. We're turning off the car. I'm gonna crack the window just a little bit. All right. Just enough so people can't reach their hand in, but I can still get some air. It is warm. I guess maybe I don't need this jacket today. I also can't tell if the lighting is good or not. I might have to move. The sun, I have to take off my sunglasses to verify. Oh, it's so bright. Hold on. Let's move. Let's move a little closer up to the building to block out some of the sun. It's crazy out here. And it's so bright. Like, I can't right now. No, that's even worse. Okay. Let's... Oh, and there was a person in that car. No way. Maybe I'll try to... Sit behind another car. People are probably like, why the hell is this girl driving around the parking lot like a weirdo? What's her deal? Like, she needs to explain herself. And I promise I'm not like a weirdo or anything. All right. We're just gonna sit here. Okay, we're gonna take off our sunglasses. All right, the lighting's way better here. What's wrong with my window? Oh, must have had a lock on it or something. Getting her, oh, my steering wheel. My little tabletop table thing is so dirty. Ooh, these fries are fresh though. To me, Burger King's fries, I kind of want to roll it back window, just in case. Um, Burger King's fries taste like Lay's potato chips to me. I 
I can't tell if that's a good or a bad thing. Mmm. Oh, that's not toasty at all. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Look, it's like not even toasted. Mmm. Oh my god. That is so good. Only because Burger King's patties, like, the flavor of their part patties are so good. It tastes like whatever char grill they claim to be doing, that's exactly what, it's, what it tastes like. Mmm. As soon as you bite it, you're like, oh! Jesus Christ, that's delicious. <laughs> mm. Oh man, I meant to take a picture before I took a bite. I got a little crazy. I'm sorry that it's not toasted at all, but I guess it's fine because who knows? They probably would have over toasted it and the crust would have been like a cracker or something. Mm. My headache has gone away. I am healed. Let me see if I could tell you what's in this. Because there's three melts. There's the Whopper melt. I have some of this bread or something in my teeth. So the Whopper melt is the new Whopper melt from Burger King features two slices of toast layered with half quarter of a pound flavored royal beef, melty American cheese, caramelized onions, and stacker sauce. Mm. I mean, they're only advertising the regular Whopper melt, but there's three, there's a spicy one and a bacon one, but they literally on their website, they only have the regular melt on here. I'm so confused. I'm going to just search BK bacon. The new bacon Whopper melt from Burger King features two slices of toasted layer of a quarter pound flame broiled beef, American cheese, crispy bacon, caramelized onions, and stacker sauce. It's probably a combination of those caramelized onions with that sauce. Like, I don't know, the whole sandwich is good. Mmm. And to think I started not to even come here. Way better start to my day than um, whatever I had yesterday. That garbage uh, Taco Bell breakfast. Horrendous. Honestly though, I barely taste the bacon. All right, I'm gonna keep eating. And then I'll be back. I'm gonna get to the store. <sighs> We're at Meyer, and you guys, that Burger King, now I feel sick. It was so delicious, and now I just feel like, ugh. <laughs> but we're going into Meyer. The only thing we need, I'm gonna buy two things of the chai latte, and I'm gonna try to get both um, the green and the red package of the Lucky Charm cookies. If they're not here, I guess I could try Walmart, but I really don't want to. I'm hoping Wire Meyer has got my back on this one because your girl wants to go home. It's 1:52. I've had enough outdoors. I want to go home. I want to stay home. Also, look at this mask. I pulled it out and it doesn't have any of the uh, little ear thing, so I don't know. All right, let's run inside and then hurry up and get out of here. Let's see if I can only spend like 20 minutes in there, you know, 20 minutes max. Meyer didn't have the, um, the chai latte or the cookies, but they did have these. Twizzler bunnies 
and I just thought the little packaging was really cute. They are cherry. I don't remember if I like cherry Twizzlers, but that was cute. And they had the blue bunny cherry cheesecake ice cream. I love the cherry cheesecake one. Usually it's always strawberry cheesecake, but blue bunny has a cherry cheesecake one that I really like. And I've never seen it in this small container. I saw it online, but never in person. And then I bought some gum because I think I might become like a gum chewing girl ever since I watched Batman. And I saw Zoe Kravitz chew that gum. I wanted to chew gum. So now I'm a gum chewing girl, I think. We'll see. I have a complex about chewing gum because I remember one time I was like a child happily chewing my gum and my mom's like, you chew gum like a horse and I never chewed gum ever since. <laughs> so I did recently have gum like um, the other day and I was like, okay, well maybe this isn't so bad. Mmm, polar ice flavor. And it's in a cute plastic container. I love that. That's why I bought it. And apparently, there's over 35 sticks. That's like two packs. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go to Walmart. Even though I hate it there. I need those cookies. Badly. And we have to be quick because I have ice cream now. I don't know why in my head I have that Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Jack jumped over the candlestick. I don't even know if that's the correct us rhyme, poem, gist, but you know, I got it. It's in my head for no reason. This gum is good, oh my God. It's like, cause I don't like peppermint. It's like slightly minty, slightly something else. Like, <laughs> this is fun. Because it was between this one, the peppermint, and then spearmint. And I'm like, hmm, what is a spearmint? So I didn't get it. I had to practice chewing gum cute. I'm going to go home and practice that. <laughs> All right. I keep looking both ways so I can hop out of here. These people are crazy over here. You got to drive carefully. See you at Walmart. No luck on those cookies. The last place I can think of is to go back to the Kroger's that was near the mire that I was at earlier. But I did get um, two of the chai lattes from here though. So that's a plus. They at least had the drinks. I believe Kroger's was the place I got the cookies from originally two years ago. So fingers crossed. I also need some milk and Walmart didn't have any of the milk that I usually get, so. It's 127. Ah! Running around doing too much. No luck, it's 152. I have officially given up. The cookies aren't at Kroger's either. And I refuse to check any more stores today. Whatever. I just really wanted those Lucky Charm cookies, but it's fine. Now I just really wanna go home. And I don't know if I want to immediately wash my hair or do I want to start working on the kitchen? I feel like I should go wash my hair and then I can start on the kitchen and whatever I don't finish, I can do tomorrow. It was packed in that Kroger's like going, oh, the waving lady is out here again. All right, let's see if I can get a shot of the waving lady. If I drive really slow, you can see her out the window. She probably remembers me because I'm always out here. There she is. She's so nice. And when you wave at her, she like smiles at you. Like, I love it. All right, we're going home now. This is it. I have nothing else I need. I just wanted those cookies, but I can't find them. So whatever. Let's go home. Okay, the heat is on. You guys could probably hear it. I don't feel like waiting for it to stop to go ahead and record whatever i'll show you what else i got from the store so i got this lemon cake that is completely slid around because i completely abused it but i just really wanted something lemon so it's a lemon and cream layer cake 
I know that's gonna be super good. We got some watermelon. So I know this is gonna be good because usually the really dark pieces are the good ones. We got our two chai lattes. I already showed you the ice cream and the Twizzlers, so don't worry about it. We got oat milk. We had a silk one. I think last time I bought Chobani, I just buy whatever is in front of me. I don't really have a preference on them. And oh my gosh, I did buy this because it's like, I wanna dye my hair or I wanna bleach it, but I just gotta work my way up to it. So I bought it, I went ahead and bought the dye kit just to hold on to. So it's just a bleach kit. It's not a color, so it's just gonna lighten it. And this one has a purple, um, what do they call it? It's not a mask. It's not a shampoo. I don't know. It has some sort of purple. Maybe it is a shampoo. Anti, -bra anti brass purple mask. It's a hair mask. So maybe one day this week I'll work up the courage to go ahead and the section is now way smaller. Like I just want to dye like maybe just like this piece or something. That way if I wanted to wear it down the middle. I could have two blonde pieces in the front, you know, just a tiny little piece. <sighs> okay. Um, that's everything I got. I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff away. Um, I don't know if I'm going to edit or what I'm about to go do, but I'm going to go ahead and end the video. And if you made it this far, leave a tiger emoji for a tigger and I either going to play animal crossing. I'm going to edit or I'm going to sit on the couch. Either one. I might get on the couch and play Animal Crossing for an hour and then get back and do other things. Cause I actually do want to start on the kitchen a little bit, but um, okay. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Special shout out to the channel members. Thank you so much for your support.